The Fishing News is brought to you by Intelux Marine Paint and Fanatics of Ocean City, celebrating 25 years at the Jersey Shore. Record-breaking temperatures this week should prompt more fishermen to go on the hunt for fish and hopefully prompt more fish to go on the hunt for bait. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. And of course, the big news here throughout our region is the start of the striper season. Last Tuesday, March 1st, and with these weather temperatures, obviously kicking things up into gear a little bit. Um, no weigh-ins from any of the tackle shops since our last report of last week. Of course, there were two fish at Absecon Bay Sportsman. But I can imagine that probably the cause for that is the gift certificate run is pretty much out. You know, a lot of people criticize folks for cashing in on those gift certificates like it's going to prompt some rush to kill a bunch of fish. Well, once the first weigh-ins are done, that's it. Gift certificates are done. So as far as I know, the only gift certificates left nearby here where I'm standing here in Tuckerton, Scott's Bait and Tackle over at Graveling Point, because thus far there have been no legal weigh-ins at Scott's Bait and Tackle. And again, we still have a lot of reports about people catching stripers in the back bays and rivers. It's going on throughout the state and a lot of catch and release, a lot of folks enjoying it. Now, talking to Scott Albertson, um, he picked up last year's logs, taking a look at the way things ran um, in 2015. This time last year, temperatures locally, water temperatures, were in the 30s. Yet when we take a look at the Atlantic City Station as of Wednesday, water temperatures 43.9. That's a significant difference over last year's brutal winter. So that should prompt the bite to pick up pretty quickly throughout South Jersey and along the entire Jersey coast. Now, last year at Graveling Point, that first 28 inch and over fish was registered April 13th at Scott's Bait and Tackle. We expect that to change any day now, especially with this beautiful weather that we've had this week. Um, the warm weather is just phenomenal. So make sure you get out and, uh, and, and wet a line and give it some, some action there. If you check your fishing logs last year, I hope you keep, keep some fishing logs of when you're fishing. You take a look at the way things transpired last year and I can expect my forecast would be that two to three weeks earlier than what you hit last year is about when you can expect action to start. Um, last year we had drum in Great Bay late in April. Imagine that fishery could start in mid-April. Everybody down on the Delaware Bay waiting for the drum bite to begin over on the Delaware slide around the, the coral beds or Slaughter Beach. Expect everything to start a little bit early. Now, we do have reports of stripers with some girth up the rivers being released. A lot of the kayak guys are up some of the rivers, um, not telling where, but those particular um, instances where they're going up the rivers where some of these bass are likely to spawn, they are releasing some fish with some girth. We also checked in with some of our tackle shops this week, Charlie's Bait and Tackle, Jason at Fisherman Supply, say the same thing. Guys kayaking around the Route 37 East Bridge, they're taking some striped bass, on white Rapala x wrap So that's all, all really, really a good sign. On the winter flounder front, also open to New Jersey on March 1st, Jared Goldie checked in with Murphy's Hook House over the weekend, decked one shoreside, and I spoke with Sue at Surf City Bait and Tackle uh, on Long Beach Island, said she had heard of at least one fish, one winter flounder caught on the South Jetty Rocks there in Barnegat Light. Um, along the central North Jersey coast, the cod, pollock, ling action offshore, uh, slow down a little bit, but the boats are still sailing. The big Jamaica will be leaving 1 a.m. on Saturday, pressing offshore. You got to hope with this warm weather that maybe that'll prompt the offshore bite as well on those fish. So more of the boats that are starting ready, starting to get ready to get back in the water. Uh, looking forward to the April run um, of striped bass to get back in on the action. On the freshwater side, most of the trout waters in New Jersey, don't forget, will be closed March 21st and for three weeks after that while they stock fresh trout for the April 9th opener. Andrew Kraserik had some action this past week as those waters are still open. He found some trout on the muskie, was getting in on the action, so definitely now is the time to get in some trout fishing before that closure and before the April 9th opening. You can get more information on the Freshwater Fisheries Digest from the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife is posted. That's at njfishandwildlife.com. The April edition of the Fisherman Magazine will have a full trout stocking update for you and a pretty cool feature on trout as well. Um, make sure you stay up to date with what's happening over at thefisherman.com. We've updated the saltwater regulations for New Jersey. Last Thursday was that Marine Fisheries Council meeting. We found out about the summer flounder that starts May 21st and black sea bass kicks off on May 23rd. 
Good news for you guys down on the Delaware Bay, west of the Coal Regs. If you're in New Jersey fishing on Delaware waters, you'll get four at 17 this year. And there's also a transit zone from the Cape Cod Canal up to the George Redding Bridge. Everybody else, of course, in the state will be at five at 18, except for that dispensation for Island Beach State Park, two at 16. All the information is over at thefisherman.com. Now, if you're not out enjoying this weather and wetting a line, I'll let you know that there's some great events coming up this week and throughout the weekend. First of all is the World Outdoor Expo, fishing and hunting. Thursday through Sunday, that's up in Suffern, New York at the Rockland Community College. You can go to sportsshows.com for more information on that. We have the Philly Boat Show at Oaks, Pennsylvania, Friday through Sunday. Go to phillyboatshow.com for more information about that event out in Pennsylvania. And of course, Sunday, lines are expected to start building early for the granddaddy of the surf events along the Jersey Shore, the Asbury Park Fishing Flea Market. That runs from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the Asbury Park Convention Hall. And again, get there early because that line starts to build very early. The Fisherman Magazine will be at all of those shows, so make sure you stop by and see us. We will have booths for all those events. If you're staying indoors on Saturday, don't forget Fin Chasers TV with Captain Frank Crescitelli. 5 a.m. Saturday morning on Destination America. Definitely worth DVRing that show. 5 a.m. is a little bit early. If you don't know how to DVR, do what I did. Check with your kids. Um, that is a great fishing show with a little bit of Northeast attitude. I would encourage you to look for Fin Chasers TV on Destination America. So listen, enjoy this beautiful weather. Get out there, wet a line, and make sure to come see us at the shows this weekend. We've got a special gift for new and renewing subscribers at the Fisherman Magazine. Of course, visit us now and often over at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Intelux Marine Paint and Fanatics of Ocean City, celebrating 25 years at the Jersey Shore.